Hi there. Welcome back to the joy of concrete. Hmm. Oh, I like that spot. I'm Mr. Concrete Concrete, and this is one kilo gray matter, 72 grams of black mineral pigment. That is 50 milliliters of water, and this is an additional 50 to make a grand total of 100 milliliters of water with one kilo gray matter. mixing. Today we're going to make a cactus planter. Only for cactuses, nothing else please. Oh shoot, black. Shouldn't start with black. I was going to put this on the table, but I goofed. You shouldn't. A little more water. How about I add Sriracha water? How did I ever find you, my friend? A little bit of Sriracha water. So spicy. Oh, it's so weird. But I love it. I love sriracha water. I can't get enough of it. And sometimes sriracha water. Still not wet enough. But that's a good thing for storage. Drier the better. You do not want to store gray matter or any other cement or concrete or cast stone in a damp, humid area. You want to keep it dry. Because if it starts reacting while it's in storage, it's ruined. more we're close I'd like to throw this out on the table but gotta do white first at this point I think we're to a spot where I maybe could just I want to get this a little more we can go white oh I ruined the surprise the other color is white one kilo of gray matter and 51 grams of titan titanium white Fifty milliliters of water. Another fifty milliliters of water. I am so excited that you are joining me today to make something beautiful out of concrete, and we're going to marble integral mineral pigments into the concrete, into the gray matter. I've designed the gray matter to work well with mineral pigments. And you'll always get a very consistent color. Because who doesn't love consistent colors? I know I do. We can put this right onto the table. I wish, I wish, I wish I could say coloration for you and for me, primarily for me, but then I realized maybe for you. But trust me, this is going to be worth it. Let's push this together. Now things are starting to get good. So if you're going to mix on a table, I think it's fun to mix on a table. HDPE. Nice to work on. Expensive, but super resilient. And really easy to clean. So... Highly recommend it. Work on a, if you're going to work on a surface, work on a plastic surface. 
we are about to be there. Very dry, this concrete, very dry. Coming along now, here we go. Just about to come together, I can see it, I see it. Oh, I think we're to the mist. We'll go Sriracha water one more bit. Do not make your concrete too wet. Too wet sucks. You want your concrete to be just the right amount of wetness, but not too wet. If you make it too wet, it's not gonna do all the magic tricks that I designed it to do. For instance, gray matter can self-level and self-consolidate. Yes. So right now I am picking up all the jazz off my table. Baker style. Oh, that's, there we go. Baby, baby. Ha, this is a non-Newtonian fluid. That's science baked right into it. And mother nature as well. We do it with hemp fiber. Think about it. Eco-friendly, green, all of the things. Oh, push you to the side, very nice. Very nice indeed. Back to black. And now, at this point in time, I can probably throw this out on the table. Our white is mixed. Today we're gonna work with intent. this marble slab in it. Sometimes I like to mix the concrete marble slab style. There we go. Not bad, we're okay. But that is, that's exactly what we're looking for for consistency. That's gonna be a very nice black to work with. Perfect, perfect. Okay, 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 here we go. Let's move you out of the way. Right up there. Uh, I should maybe wipe my hands. I think we'll be okay. Let's bring our white back. I'm gonna separate some of it right away. Save that, save a little bit. Now I've got some individual mixed pigments. I'm gonna split this white up a little bit. You know what, I do want one section. I want a little bit of very, very dark color. A very dark uh, blue. I'm gonna use all my blue. And 20 grams of blue. Oh man, this is gonna be nuts. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful. This one's gonna be nuts. I was thinking about it and it's like, if I'm gonna do tutorials on how to marble concrete, I might as well, I might as well do the best. Do the very best marbling, do the very best in the world show you the very, very best, best marbling in the world. Put everything into it. Go all the way, don't hold anything back. And so, this is what you get. You get a really crazy, really intense blue. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's looking good. Okay. 
Mm. There it is. There's my blue. I like that. That's a wild one. Okay. Uh, if I want a decent amount of pink, I'm going to take, oh, I think that's about 10 grams of red into, I don't know how much this is. This is probably about a third of the mix. Start pushing it right in there. Look at that. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. That's a great color. That's a great color. And I'm going to leave some of that all kind of. That's great. Off to the side. Got some regular white, and I've got you. One more color. What's it gonna be? Do you like how I do this all by hand? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. There's a ton of green pigment over here. Let's look at our pigments. That's predictable though, isn't it? I want something buttery, like a... Like a banana. Let's see what we can get out of this. A little bit of yellow. Not too much. And we're gonna probably take some of the pink. Oh, look at that. Isn't that kind of beautiful? So I love, I love Bob Ross. I watched uh, a ton of Bob Ross when I was a kid. And I always wanted to, I always wanted to do what he did. I wanted to paint. I wanted to paint those beautiful, I wanted to be like, oh yeah, make this beautiful cloudy, like forest and stream and all that jazz. I wanted to do that. I loved it so much. And I would, I would ask my, I would tell my parents, I would say, hey, I'm like, I want to, I want paint. I want to get paint and paint. And they would say, no. No, it's too expensive. But now I can spend my money. I make some money and I spend my money on whatever I'd like to do. And what I'd like to do is make beautiful things out of concrete. And I want to show you how to do it too. Oh, that's, this is how you mix concrete, right? Yeah, that's a weird one. There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little bit of it and actually go way overboard. I want one really crazy yellow in there too. I'm gonna marble this into the other yellow. It'll be an accent yellow. This is like a what color is that? It's a banana. That looks like an actual. Maybe it could be a little bit brighter. It's got a little bit of black content in it. Um, but I would say it's it, it's like kind of the color of the inside of a banana. This, we want this to be crazy. So mixing a bunch of different colors is a little bit more time consuming. Let's check our black. Our black is okay. Our white is okay. Our blue is a bit stiff. Our pink is fine. Our banana is good. We're on track, but we better start to hurry. Uh, gray matter sets up very quickly. It sets up about, it gets, it, it's ready to demold about 4,200% more than regular just concrete regular concrete uh so yeah oh this is what is this this is like a bit of a mustard like a hmm, interesting this is like the banana skin almost but with a little hint of brown to it aged banana skin Ugh, yucky 
mix you in like that. And La Bamba. Okay, 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 okay. We got this. Fun. Things are going to get fun. These are wacky colors. Wacky colors. I love that. And I love tiny solo cups. Aren't these cute? We don't need any more pigment. We did it. That's lots of color. Um, hands are kind of dirty, but who cares? Let's just go for it. What do we have here? Hey there, Mr. Concrete Concrete. Oh, hey, Monty. It's good to see you again. Likewise. Mr. Concrete Concrete, can I ask you a question? Yeah, of course you can ask me a question anytime. Well, you know how sometimes I get wild eyes? Yeah, I get that too. Do you think it's okay? Oh, I think it's beautiful. Thanks, that means a lot to me. Are you ready to get down to business? Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Hey, that's inspirational. We got a mold. We got our beautiful cactus planter mold. And look at this, we got these blocks of wood. You know the drill from here. We gotta tap this out. We don't use any fancy equipment. You can do this in your kitchen, honestly. Dead serious, in your bathroom. You can do this in your bathroom. You can do this anywhere you can put down a little bit of plastic. You can do this. Ugh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go pretty nuts though on the tapping here. I don't want any voids. Uh, everyone in the comments is gonna give me gears if I don't put a uh, if I don't put a a void in here. I will. Okay, I'll put a I'll put a little hole in there for the cactus so the cactus can breathe. But after I finish vibrating, still got some big air coming up, and oh, things are getting very beautiful. I love, I love how the bottoms turn out. Beautiful. I hope you had fun following along. If you did, can you do me a couple of real big solids? Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button, but then also hit the notification button. And I feel bad for asking, I honestly do, but the reason why it's really important that you hit the notification button is that without it, our videos will not show up on your homepage. What you have is your homepage. So if you want to see what my last video, my most recent thing that I made is, it won't show up on your homepage of YouTube unless you hit the notification, the bell, you click it. I, I barely know how to do that. I'll be honest. I barely know. I'm like, where do you find the bell? I don't know. Where's the bell? It's on the side or in a part or it moves. Sometimes it moves. It used to be somewhere and it's somewhere else now, but there's a bell somewhere or somewhere you can set in your settings notifications and you want to be notified when I make a new video. You do. I don't make a ton. I'm trying to make one a week every Wednesday, but I'm not good at it. And I'm, it's by myself and it's very hard, but I've been pretty good for the last couple months. We've been on track. I don't want to leave you hanging. Let's make something new. Are you keeping up? I guess that's the question. If you're going to be on me and be like, are you keeping up with your videos? I'm going to ask you, are you keeping up with your concrete making things? What was the last thing you made out of concrete? Tell me in the comments. I want to know. I know some of you have been making stuff. Mary, you like to make things out of concrete. Um, 
Diane, you make things out of concrete. Uh, Paul, you like concrete. What's something you made? Amid, what's something you made out of concrete? Tell me in the comments. I want to know. Dragan, what's something you made out of concrete? I want to know. I want to know. Tell me, tell me in the comments. Do you think we're good? Do you think that's been enough? Tap, tap, tapity. Why not overdo it? Make this video long. Let's overdo it. You don't want it too long, do you? I don't either. We can look at this tomorrow. This sets up quick. It is setting up. It is looking beautiful. The bottom looks amazing. Okay, before we bid farewell, we gotta make the little, people go nuts. I'm like, they're like, where's that thing? You know, cactus need drainage. I'm like, yeah, you know, there's lots of different ways you can deal with drainage in a pot. You can make a hole, but you can also so just drill the hole. I don't have to make it for you. But there, I made it for you with my finger. We're going to leave that. That's our pot, our cactus planter. Welcome back, everyone. Ready to see what we've made? It has been... It's been about nine hours. We could have demolded this in as soon as four hours, but I went to sleep. Crazy, huh? And then I woke up, and now I am here, and this is the this is the thing we made. I'm gonna use one of these little. I'm gonna use this little wooden block that we used for keeping it tipped on its side to help demold. And let us see what we got here. Put a little pressure on this. Just use that to kind of bridge over the wooden block. Press down with my hands. Okay, here. You know, I'll put that right in the middle. Okay. Oh, it looks like it's ready to come up. Let's tip it to the side. One more. One, there we go. There we go. Okay. Woo. All right. We don't need that anymore. And we don't need that anymore. Let's see what we made. Beautiful. A little bit of voiding in the blue. I knew the blue was a bit dry, but went for it anyway. Hmm. Oh, I like that spot. Hmm. There it is. Finished product and all. So, this is ready for a cactus. And even it's even got a little drainage hole right down in the middle. Very fun. Very quick, very easy, and clean as well. I love it. Thank you everyone out in the YouTube world who watched. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Mr. Viking Dane. Thank you, Dragon. Thank you, Douglas Dollars. Thank you, Hamid. Thank you, Andre. Thank you, Light Yagami. Thank you, Mary. And thank you to everyone else who's joined me and followed along making beautiful concrete things. I hope you had the most fun. And please, if you liked, if you like what we do here on uh, the Joy of Concrete, then can you hit that like button, subscribe, notifications? I feel embarrassed to ask, but uh, we we need the followers. We we could have a few more viewers seeing what we're doing. Um, so anything you can do to help as our our devoted fans would be very very uh, appreciated. Tell someone, tell someone in person, someone you work with, say, I watched this guy make this thing and uh, I had fun and I think you would too. Please, can you? Have a good night, everyone. Have a good day, everyone. Just goodbye.